from the Tribune News Network. This is Newsbreak. I'm Kirk Smith. Friday's top stories reaching the final stages of the budget debate in the House. Members now completing their second full week. Health Minister Wells and Deputy Prime Minister Bannister finishing up yesterday. Minister Wells giving details of planned upgrades to health facilities around the country. And he says he believes they can vaccinate 30 percent of the people against COVID by September. The DPM telling the House, among other things, that he is confident there'll be no load shedding by Bahamas Power and Light during the summer months. He's done the math. We can safely account for a minimum of between 315 and 350 megawatts this summer against an expected summer peak load of 250 megawatts. The highest recorded peak reach in the Bahamas is 248 megawatts. That means... We should have from almost from 60 uh, to 100 megawatts uh, of redundancy. So, Mr. Speaker, we feel confident that there will be no load shedding this summer. Finance Minister, Prime Minister Minister now left to close that debate. The appropriations bills expected to be in the Senate by next week. Police busy heading into the weekend. The most recent murder they're investigating. Two men and a woman shot in a drive-by incident here in the Capitol overnight. One of the men died, the others in hospital. They're questioning a teenager about an alleged robbery and rape here in the Capitol, and they're actively looking for two murder suspects they've posted APBs on. This is news break from the Tribune News Network. No resolution yet of that Cabbage Beach access standoff, and union officials are threatening another march over the Paradise Island Bridge if they can't get this sorted out. TUC President Obi Ferguson says there's a very strong possibility of that. PLP leader Davis has a suggestion on how to resolve the issue. He says the government should acquire the land in question. Another spike in the coronavirus confirmed cases numbers. 53 more reported in the latest Ministry of Health report. The majority split between the capital and Grand Bahama where 13 new cases were confirmed. Close to 40 persons remain in hospital being treated. Officials maintaining we're not through the third wave just yet. They're urging persons to get vaccinated and to keep observing the protocols. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at Tribune242.com. Now the Tribune's Acme Weather Update, a service of insurance management. That weather system to the north is moving out, but there's still some impact. Partly cloudy today, highs in the mid to upper 80s, 87 at Freeport, 88 in the capital, 88 at Matthew Town. No marine advisory winds generally 10 to 15 knots. The sea's 2 to 4 feet. Low tide now, the next high around 4 this afternoon. Turning partly cloudy tonight, lows from the mid to upper 70s. No systems in the tropics to be concerned about right now. If you need additional weather information, check the Tribune's weather page. For your insurance needs, call Insurance Management. We are now in the hurricane season. Insurance Management urges you to complete your preparations and ensure that your home and contents coverage is up to date. Call them today. With more than 40 years in business, nobody does it better than Insurance Management. This is Newsbreak from the Tribune News Network. Let's get the weekend started. The Weekend, published every Friday in the Tribune, has the hottest news in fashion, music tips, the who's who on the red carpet, your must-try restaurants and hotspots, and, of course, what to wear when you step out. Catch up on the latest film reviews or be thrilled with exciting tales from Bahamian history. There's only one place to find everything you need to plan your perfect weekend in Friday's Tribune. Pick up your copy of The Weekend every Friday. The Tribune, the people's paper, biggest and best. Friday's World News headlines a grim coronavirus milestone. The global death toll has now passed 4 million, according to a Reuters news agency tally. Top five countries are the U.S., Brazil, India, Russia, and Mexico. And this may not be done yet. Health officials in India are warning that there could be a third wave of the virus coming for that country by October. Russian President Putin is back home and talking nicely about U.S. President Biden, calling him a professional. The two men met in talks in Switzerland this week. Tribune's gas striker prices heading into the weekend. Shell 509, SO 501, Rubis $5.01 per gallon in the capital. Now your sports notes brought to you by the Tribune Sports Section. We have the John Quell Jones update, a different stage. Same results, though, a double-double for her in the first game played in that Euro basketball tournament. Read about it in the Tribune Sports. Get the latest on the NBA playoffs. The Bucks force a Game 7 with Brooklyn with a win last night. 
DeAndre and the Suns continue to wait for the winner of the Jazz Clippers series. Off day for Jazz and the Marlins in Major League Baseball yesterday. They open a series in Chicago against the Cubs today and find out who's leading at the U.S. Open Golf Tournament heading into day two. All of your sports details, you want to check the Tribune Sports section. Everything you need from the world of sports, you'll find in the Tribune Sports. And that's your news break. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at tribune242.com.